Gronkowski undoubtedly will go down as one of the greatest prestiges we have ever made. From a god-tier tight end to a god-tier linebacker to another god-tier tight end. And technically, there still could be a golden ticket middle linebacker. So we're not even done yet. There's a brand new promo called Real Deals. And it added a 98 overall tight end, Rob Gronkowski, who is six foot six, insanely good. He gets matchup nightmare for free. And probably most importantly, he gets double me, unstoppable, once you unlock these very specific items that I don't quite have yet, but I'll definitely be looking to add to the team. Now, of course, Rob Gronkowski is a prestige, so I'm always entitled to the best version possible. There's just one problem. Maybe problem isn't the right word, but Sam Laporta, statistically, literally on paper, is worse than this Gronk in almost every single stat. He's slower, he's shorter, he's just not the guy. But that's just not true, because if you've watched Wheel of Sam Laporta is that guy. He's more than that guy. So can I really take this Gronk and put him in over Laporta? Also, the timing sucks because this is line season and Laporta's my team captain. Since then, there's been a 98 overall Amon Ra and a gold 99 Brian Branch that have dropped. To solve this dilemma, here is the conclusion I've come to. I'm gonna use both middle linebacker Rob Gronkowski and tight end Rob Gronkowski. I usually don't do this, but the caveat is that tight end Rob Gronkowski has to be the backup. He cannot be the start. Quite frankly, I wouldn't have benched Laporta anyway. Laporta's been so good, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. We're on a three win streak. On this season at Wheelamont, we are three and one. We are getting closer to the playoffs. I'm starting to really believe in Warren Moon. The 91 overall Warren Moon has been such an awesome addition to this team. He's been playing great and I really want to take him to the Super Bowl. A little throwback Jalen Hurts vibe, you know? Left guard and right tackle could definitely get an upgrade. And, and frankly, Jamar Chase could get an upgrade. So if I got one more really good wide receiver, we can move Jamar to wide receiver three, move Jefferson to wide receiver two, and hopefully get like a stud 98 or 99 overall wide receiver one. The rest of my backfield is great. Tiki Barber has been unbelievably good. He's not dead to me quite yet. The Nigerian Nightmare was a new addition, hoping to pack a punch him. And then obviously I'm not messing with Warren Moon. Now defensively, our linebackers are Greenlaw, Ray Lewis, Rob Gronkowski, and Roquan Smith. None of these guys are super high overall, but all of them are great. The safeties on this team are absolutely insane. Derwin James Limited, Minka Fitzpatrick 98 overall. Both of them with zone KOs. Tina Tillman has been my best corner. Good Lord, he is good. PS2, our newest prestige. And of course, we do need to get Brandon Stevens out of there. He's scaring the hell out of me. Bose is great. Jalen Carter is amazing. Aaron Donald is spectacular. Miles Garrett could use an upgrade. Also, Pat McAfee got a gold 99 punter now. It was free for everybody. I threw him on the team. I never punt. So sue me. He gets enforcer for free though, which is hilarious. We've got three wheel spins to add to this team. I think I'd like to start with left guard, unless it's a jackpot, then I'm going wide receiver. It's gonna be very specific on the position, but we have a good chance to get a stud here. We're gonna sort by program, we'll go Super Bowl pass. We sort by time remaining, we can choose one player out of the top 12. I really gotta hope there's some studs in here. Oh my God, they're all studs. This Warren Sapp is insanely, insanely, insanely good. Whitworth is really nice. I'd have to move into right tackle, which isn't the end of the world. The rest of these guys are bums. So I know exactly what we're doing. So we are gonna go with Andrew Whitworth. We're gonna move into right tackle and I'll show you why. He has spectacular stats. This is an excellent card. Now, the important thing we're gonna add here is the Super Bowl Past Light It Up token. You guys remember this. This token that you could earn back when the Super Bowl promo was out gave you access to these very specific abilities. Each Super Bowl card had access to them. Andrew Whitworth has Secure Protector Light It Up, Nasty Streak Light It Up, or Threat Detector Light It Up. All it really means is he gets access to dirt cheap abilities that will be activated the entire game. Secure Protector is such a nice ability because Secure Protector shuts down inside stuff and no outsiders, which are two of the most common abilities you see on the defensive line in Madden 24. So we go Secure Protector Light It Up for zero AP and we'll be playing him out of position at right tackle, but it, it really shouldn't matter. He'll definitely be better than Mekhi Becton. I have four players on my offensive line with abilities. If we can get Russ Grimm replaced with a left guard, it'll be the first time in this year's Wheel of Mud that every old lineman has had an ability. I also just realized we have an all legends backfield. That does not happen often. But regardless, we got our second wheel spin looking for a left. Ah, is there a left guard in this? No, but you know who's in this? You know who's in this is Bo Jackson Corner. <laughs> if you saw last episode, I accidentally spun the wheel four times and my fourth player was Bo Jackson Corner. This is an excellent, excellent opportunity for me to right my wrongs. My new cornerback number three is not Brandon Stevens. It will be our NFL combine choice, Bo Jackson, that I got all set and going, ready to play and is finally actually ready to play. So this Bo Jackson, I put on the Christmas card art because it looks sick. If you didn't see last episode, 
episode, I talked really highly of this card. He's 6'1", 227 with insane speed, excellent coverages. His tackle and hit power are nuts too. This card's crazy good. 96 overall just does not do this card justice. It's, it's basically a 98 overall. All right, that'll take me to our third and final wheel spin of the episode. Wide receiver, left guard. That's where we got to go with this one. It looks like it's going to be... Team of the Week jackpot? It has been a while since the Team of the Week promo, but this card, this Amari Cooper is so nasty. He is a little bit outdated right now, but he's definitely better than Quentin Johnston. And he's a Matthew Berry card. Now this Matthew Berry chemistry is supposed to give Amari Cooper plus seven awareness, catch, carrying, and throw accuracy. That's what it's supposed to do. But if you take a look at Amari Cooper, this chemistry is completely bugged. It ends up giving him plus two or plus three in so many stats. Catch, catch, Catch in traffic, spec catch, short route run, medium route run, deep route run, carrying, pass blocking, trucking. You get my point. It's completely broke. So every Matthew Berry card was really like two overalls higher than it showed. So this Amari Cooper is really a 97 overall. And you can actually see it right here. This is what the Matthew Berry chemistry is doing to Amari Cooper. It's plus two in all of those stats and then plus seven in awareness. I don't know why this happened, but that's the good, that's honestly the good thing about EA is if they mess up, they won't correct it. Like obviously when they do something shitty and they don't correct it, that sucks. But when they just blatantly make Amari Cooper way better than he's supposed to. Nobody's going back in to fix it. All right, so we got Justin Jefferson, Amari Cooper, and Jamar Chase. That's an insane wide receiver core. We're still looking for a left guard, and Andrew Whitworth's kind of pissing me off over there. Eventually, too, we do want to get a secure protector center to shut down inside stuff, but the rest of this team looks absolutely stunning. We're at 96 overall? This is a really good Wheel of Mutt team. And of course, we've got the challenge wheel as well. We are three and one on the season. Looking to be four and one today. Our challenge, I'll go 30 plus. Oh, I like this. We need the game's leading rusher. Doesn't matter who it is. We just have to have the player with the most rushing yards. Colts, 27-2-2. He's got Armstead Pittman. Was that Marshawn Lattimore I saw down there? We officially have two gold 99s in the top three. Who's going to be the third gold 99 around this team out? Give me the top three gold 99. He's coming out in gun bunch. He's got Bo Jackson, quarterback, Derrick Henry, running back. And why is Jamari Conner in? Oh, wait, no. He's, is he supposed to be? Did I mess this up again? It's not supposed to be Chamari Connor. That's another thing we got to get for this team. We have to get a backup here. When I run Dime 2 3, it brings an 89 overall Chamari Connor. And as you saw, he can't. Nobody can lurk right now. All right, gentlemen, let's, let's get it together here. So long as I can have my big boy Gronk in, I'm happy. Come on, try it again. Get out of here. No huddle here. You're not going to run it. You're scared. Yeah, go half back. Yeah, shit. No. Dude, honestly, I didn't want that because Derwin had a shot at Avalanche right there. Little RPO here. So, ooh, spec he messed that up. He had he had the option to get upfield there. All right, we're looking really good right now. Let's guess pass. I'm going to go on Peanut Tillman. Okay, say, oh shit. Guess pass was not the move. It's <laughs> so good. I love this Peanut Tillman. No, Chamari Connor's in. I'm in dive two, three. Shit. Let's cover the flats. I'm on Derwin here. I'm on Derwin. That's my user. Corner out, corner out. I see it. Okay, that's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. This could be RPO again. We gotta be on Gronk here. Ooh, RPO, but Nick Bosa, perfect position. Second and 13, now he passes, right? Let's lurk, let's lurk low and peel. Oh, shit, shit, shit. He's catching me sleeping, shit. We sent a blitz and uh-oh, this is not good. He's got a lot of things activated. It's an RPO. Can we stop this? What a line! Minka! That was beautiful! He's still got the RPO option though, right? I'm there! No! Yes! Let's go! What a stop! He gave Derrick Henry two shots with a yard to go and he couldn't get it. He's got Micah Parsons with no outsiders. Armstead with interior threat. DeForest Buckner with inside stuff. He doesn't have an inside stuff in the middle. That is how important that ability is. That would be a two yard TFL. Instead, it's a five yard game. Sam Laporta is a touchdown! Who's on Sam Laporta, Juke? Oh. I feel like I could have ran that a little bit better to somehow have actually made that a touchdown, but still, excellent play. Let's see if he leaves that open. Just a cheeky little Amari Cooper. Nice catch. Warren Moon with a great throw under pressure. Oh, that's a. Ooh. Who's coming up big already? Warren Moon also three for three. I gotta remember to get these rushing yards though. Just gonna go Tiki Barber. 
Oh, wait a minute. No way. Oh! By the way, I just knocked a pylon over, so I would have completed the pylon challenge. I'm gonna try and run stretch on Micah. Okay. I don't even think I deserve that. And I score. That was some nonsense right there. I'm gonna go for two here. I've been a little greedy, little go for two bastard recently. I'm not gonna lie. God. Not only have I been a greedy go for two guy, but I have not been converting them. So many abilities on the field here. Let's see if he runs it again. Oh, 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 I like that. Oh, I think he was thinking about throwing to Derek Henry. Second and 10. How'd he hit me last time with this? What did he do? He threw directly to Patrick Sertan. He handed me the ball for free, and I pitched it to Bo Jackson. That's what happened. Bull move, Cotton. Bull move. What? You're sucking my dick and licking my ball simultaneously. Oh, what? I thought that was so money. I went for the possession catch, though. I probably should have aggroed that. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm shocked by that outcome right there. First and 10 for the Raiders. They've got Derwin. <laughs> Dude, could you just... Could you not suck ass? I need to get the game's leading rusher. I have to get the game's leading rusher. Good. Good, Tiki. Get his 10 yards. And I think that is technically the league's leading rusher right now, or the game's leading rusher. Same shit, different day. Woo! No! Yes! Oh my god, how many turnovers are there? It's enough for him. Understandable. Understandable. Have a nice day. I'm not counting that game. Honestly, there's just been so many rage quits this season that my team is so good. I know technically I should do a rage quit wheel and a challenge wheel, but I'm telling you, man, my team is too good. My reward for the rage quit is going to be a sugar rush egg pack. If I get anything that I can use on my team, I'll throw it on there. I don't expect a lot here, but might as well go for it, right? Ezra Cleveland, Ty Becton, Kenneth Walker. Can't use any of these guys. And the simple egg is the Winters can't use you either. Let's go find a worthy opponent, yeah? Woo! Wait. Wait, what? Is both Mannings and Gold 99 Carmichael? Why do you have both Mannings? You just sub them in and out? I'll answer the question. This is a squad though. Yup, the boys are there. He's gonna go no huddle here. Okay, little tempo football. That's gonna be play action though, right? Checks this one low, gets a big hit. I think he's gonna go with the same play. No, oh no, that's not good. Oh, well defended Peanut. No. Yeah, that's Gold 99 Carmichael. That's a scary wide receiver. Play ball, buddy. Play action to Bo. He does not have the middle open. No, you don't. I was about to say, because if that ball was thrown when he was in bounds, I would have lurked it. That's a hell of a ball from Manning, though. Shit. I need unstoppable force from Aaron Donald. Remember, after nine plays, Aaron Donald unlocks unstoppable force for the rest of the game, and we are going to want that. Oh, no. Come on. Third and five. I'm guessing pass again. He goes RPO. Huge tackle, yup. Hey, that's the same tackle I tried to make last time. Fourth and 70, no huddles this? I see 18. He hucks one. He hucks one mega deep. Derwin, get it out of there. Let's go. What a shot he just took on fourth and seven. All right, same challenge wheel applies. I need the game's leading rusher. He thinks this is a pass? He just pulled all his DBs off. Oh shit. DeMarcus Ware misses. Big Juke got a Tiki. And Okoye pushes him forward. Love that animation. They need more of that shit in this game. Like Okoye actually having the awareness to grab his back and push him. All right, second and one. I'm going right at the teeth. Let's get those rushing yards. Great double team stops the inside stuff. Tiki! First and 10. Same shit, different day. Tiki is going to take a solid angle. He just, is he predicting a juke there? Does this play work? I haven't ran this play since Madden Mobile. We're about to find out. Fullback fake. Hapeg toss. Oh my God, DeMarcus Ware body that. Also, that's Aaron Jones. Hey, if negative six yards is going to somebody, it can't be Tiki Barber for the challenge. So that worked out really well on accident. All right, third and 11. This is a big down here. We got bunch quads. Looking for somebody to get open and I see him. Jamar Chase touch this man. What a dot. I have never once looked at that route on that play until right now. Dude had a monster corner on him too. I don't know how that happened. Whatever. Hey, 7-0. Jamar still got it. Start out with a play action. Oh, he goes down to Bo. Second and eight. We're sitting in a Tampa two. He's got the middle. No, he doesn't not anymore. He's got nothing. Got absolutely nothing. You got to throw that ball away. Ooh, Aaron Donald's got unstoppable force activated. That's going to apply so much pressure on that edge. We need it. Why do you want that? You're never gonna get it. Derwin, has, Derwin averages an interception a game. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't think I'm gonna get a touchdown as easy as the last time. This is a spectacular start to a game though. All right, let's keep working on these rushing yards, yeah? 
We're gonna go right side stretch. The Nigerian Nightmare's out there. He did predict the juke, but he wasn't quick enough. 36 yards for Barber. We've got a healthy lead on that. Beat a dead horse here. We can pass the ball. Let's go play action. Ooh, get it off. <laughs> Literally, unironically, nobody wants to smoke. All right, gentlemen, I apologize. The good news is we're now four and one. We lock in our players from today's episode, which is Andrew Whitworth, Amari Cooper. Actually, this time, the corner Bo Jackson. The bad news is I couldn't get you guys a good video. I apologize. But the hope is we will have amazing competition for the playoffs. Four and one right now. Two losses. We're booted. One win, we make it to the playoffs. I feel like we'll be able to do that. I am going to open a pack for my challenge wheel for sure, but I'm not going to take a rage quit spin. I know I should. No, I did not feel like I earned those. I think those guys just pussied out fast. I guess I'll open a real deal pack since technically there are real deal limiteds in the game right now. Is that the regular animation? Oh my God. All right, that animation went so hard. I kind of thought like I had just pulled a gold 99. Get a combine Solomon Thomas, a Terry Bradshaw, and that's a sick animation. They use such a sick animation on such a goofy promo. The Boz, Terry Bradshaw. Well, you know what's good about this though? So 89 Brian Bosworth, right? So there's a 98 overall Brian Bosworth from this promo. 6'2", 95 speed middle linebacker. So I'll have him for a potential uh, pack a punch. All right, gentlemen, I apologize. I couldn't get you the coolest Wheel of Mud episode. I am pretty sad about about that but we made some crucial additions to the team if this is an anime you can think of this as a filler episode i suppose next episode will be amazing that'll secure our playoff berth if we can win or things are gonna get real scary if i lose regardless i love you guys thanks for watching as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace